Hey guys, this is uh, Amon Jarvis. I just wanted to have a serious conversation with you guys real quick. Um, look, man, uh, a lot of us graduated uh, into 99, beginning of 2000, right? We've all had this dream. We were sold this dream to go to school, uh, make good grades, go to college, right? And then go to college, get a four year degree in something. And then once you graduate, you're guaranteed a promise to make I don't know, let's say thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, right? 50 grand max. So we get out on this journey and we do this. Now, if we're lucky enough, we get a 401k um, and a lot, oftentimes they'll match that. Um, I know I was with one company that not only did a 401k, but they also gave us uh, what we call a, a stipend check uh, once a year or annually, depending on how well the company did. So that was a pretty interesting thing there as well. Um, now, again, this money just sat in the 401k account. It does gain interest, but it's also uh, vulnerable to if the stock market falls like it recently did and like it did um, years back uh, in 2009, the market crashed. I lost a lot of money. So again, here we are in 2020, we've had a pandemic, lost a lot of money. Now, a lot of things that I'm bringing up lately is just an eye opener because it was an eye opener to me. I was going about my business. I didn't really care about nothing else that was going on. I was earning a really good paycheck. I'm able to buy what I want and not have to think twice about it, right? So that's the, that's the dream for me. That's the American dream. Um, I'm able to purchase a home. Uh, I've got rental properties, right? Everything is going great. Then it finally hit me. It was like, okay, well, how long do I plan on doing this? Right? How long will I continue uh, to live my life this way? And once I graduate, or not graduate, I'm sorry, but once I retire and there's no longer income coming in, how will I sustain? Right? So these are interesting questions that I have for myself. And that was pretty much what started my journey uh, in the research. And so that's why I posted some of the things that I post, right? What did you find out about um, Social Security? We've been paying into Social Security for all of these years, X number of years, so that once we retire, that's what we're supposed to live on. Interesting thing that I found out, the IRS.gov says that Social Security will be depleted in year 2034. Again, this is 2020. We're talking 14 years from today. 14 years, right? It's an eye opener. I'm 39. Let's just say I'm 40, right? 14 years from 40. I'm not even at retirement age yet. I'll barely be 54. Barely. So again, retirement age wasn't until 65. It's been moved up or postponed to 67. What are we going to do? Okay, that's rule number one. That's rule number one that I found out. Part two, the cost of living continues to go up right? 3%, 3%, 3%, 3% every year. It's called inflation. It's typically around 3%. The annual salary bump that you get from working your job is supposed to be 3%. Now that's discretionary based on the company. They can choose to, or they can choose not to. It's up to them. But if you get that 3% bump, yeah, you're making more money, but the cost of everything continues to go up, which puts you in the same situation. Something to think about. Number two thing that I found out, the wealthy people, they don't put their money in the bank. And this is why I had to understand this concept. It's not necessarily because the bank is a bad thing. But why is it that the bank only insures up to $250,000? If you've got a million bucks, it does not benefit you to leave your money in the bank. Hmm, light bulb. 
So again, I just want to document my journey, man. A lot of people think I'm crazy or, or, or um, they may not understand where I'm coming from, my concept or my, my mindset behind uh, this journey. So I just want to document this and just kind of let you guys know um, where I'm coming from and why. And that's pretty much it. Um, again, I've, I've, I've looked into life insurance. I've gotten licensed as a life insurance agent. I'm also a licensed real estate agent. I've been so since 2006. Now, how many of my friends have used me as an agent? How many people know that I'm a real estate agent? Now that's not on you, that's on me. So this time going forward, I wanna let everybody know, everyone's on notice, I'm a life insurance agent. We have to start talking about securing generational wealth. We have to start talking about closing the gap. Why does the rich continue to get rich and our people continue to struggle? What vehicles are out there for us that we know nothing about? I tapped into it, right? I've got a master's degree. I've got a sociology degree. I've got a master's in business administration, a master's in leadership. I've owned multiple companies. None of them have taught me what I've learned in the past two months. So again, guys, if you guys find this interesting and want to know more, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I won't bite. Let's take egos out of it, right? This is not about ego. This is simply, we're going to have a dialogue. We're having a conversation. I just want to share what I've learned. If you find value in it, cool. If you don't, so be it. But this is where I'm coming from. So again, this is AJ Smith, Damon Jarvis. Um, yeah, let's talk. Looking forward to it.